<clears throat> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new stream of Russian Fishing 4. And uh, let's get started. Sam, hello, hello. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I should do 5-hour rental or a 3-hour rental. 363 kg Greenland is the biggest catch of the week here on this map, I guess. Ah, oh, bad. Uh... I'm gonna do 5 hour rental. Screw this. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start off the stream with 34 meter hole. We're gonna try two different setups. One is this one uh, with the lurker. And uh, I'll probably switch out the octopus with another blue glow stick. Uh, once this, uh, once the buy rate dies on this, I will switch uh, to marine lure jigging and use the use different foam fish. But starting off with the orange one, orange, red, whatever color you want to call this, with the zero zero two. So that's how we're going to start off and then add the 41 meter hole. This setup should also be working right now so we can try 41 meter hole. I believe happy hour is still active so I definitely want to catch a lot of fish ASAP. Uh, getting a sterlets today. I took two but 20 of them last two hours and another one in the last five minutes. Very nice. Anything close to a trophy for you? I was thinking of Amber, but I don't know. I don't think I'll go. Version storage got 6.8 one. Okay, okay. All right, finally no rain. Oh my goodness. That's so rare for this map. Fully loaded. Hello. Hello, hello. How's it going? How's it going, Mr. F-250. <laughs> I hope... Are you still at your uh, grandma's place? She heard the stream. Maybe she'll she'll get hooked on. She'll be a subscriber. Every stream she'll be there. She'll be like, fully loaded. Why don't you grow... Why didn't you grow up to be like Mista? <laughs> You're back home already fishing. Hot damn. Where are you fishing? Frankie, hi, welcome, welcome to the stream. It is Saturday, but I am 80% super happy, not 100% super happy, because, oh man, there's someone coming to buy my plants. I don't know when the hell he's going to get here. Then I have to go out, and oh my god, a few things on my mind. Trying something near the 190 meter hole. Okie dokie. Look, bro, I just I just want big fish and I don't know. I wanted to use the huge or large fillet setup where you just have the fillet. Uh, but that's so trash in this game. Like, why even have it if it's not going to work? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like fillet jigging rig. You know, I just I want to use that and put huge fillets, but you're not going to catch anything. Which is so disappointing.
All right, I think happy hour is still going on. So let's get started. Yay, it's happy hour. All right, let's see how many percent we get. Our scale level is 61.9%. Man, it's going to take forever to get to 70. Insane to the membrane. All right, all right, calm down, Sam. That's fine. It's good for you. I really want to go to the deeper holes like the 55 and 75 because the fish are always more interesting in those holes compared to the 41 and 34. 41 34 are all about catching lots of fish quickly and they're usually trashy or your common fish. Sometimes you'll get like a bigger fish or a rare fish but most of the time it'll be the same. Uh, try classic bottom with the rattle bottom with 100 kg gear. Seven point five kg sterlet, nice, nice. I think uh, nine nine kg is trophy. Try bottom with the rattle bottom. <clears throat> uh, Fishwick is telling me to try a hundred meter hole. There's some big fish there apparently with rattle stuff, and I just don't have the skill set up. Like I want to try something close to that, you know. Where is the hundred meter anyway? Uh, what? Oh, 100 H2. Try classic bottom and rattle bottom. Yeah, Sterlitz, Persians, at least Persians are considered rare. But the thing is, the prices are the same. Nothing changed about the prices. They just slapped the rare icon beside the fish. So people are starting to think, ooh, rare fish, super expensive, but it's just trash pay. Only a few fish, the ultra rare ones, are actually worth a bit of money. Uh, but on Nightcrawler, you can catch all of these Sturge and Sterlitz. It's just... You're going to have a terrible buy rate. And if you do catch, majority of the time, they're going to be tiny. Uh, but on Nightcrawler, it's always a lot of fun to ca get one of those, you know? So. But it is all new to me. I have not got a hold of it yet. 100 kg gear. A track A T T R A C T Why is it cloudy? All right, as long as there's no rain, I'm happy. Mm. 
It's okay. I don't like. I'm not going to tuba. I already have a Russian sturgeon trophy though, a long, long time ago. Uh, but the issue is, it's a very slow bite rate for the Ruskies. Sometimes you'll have a good bite rate, majority of the time it's going to be very slow. So you don't, like I'm not, it's very rare I ever stream there. Because I'm just sitting around doing nothing the entire stream. So it's really, it's really hard. All right, our first 5 kg fish. Let's go. Yay, we're at 62%. <clears throat> 5 minutes. Four markers, not bad. Tiny little haddocks though. Okay, 5 kg plus hopefully. What is this? Come on. It's 5 meters out and it's still not 5 meters away. Ooh, turbo. Look at that. I can't even pull it out. There we go. Four kg turbo. Oh my God. It killed my energy. Uh, I don't think so. He was pumping the fish strain sounds before it bro broke. Spiller gives quite a lot of XP, which is nice because my level doesn't need millions. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but if you need XP, trolling is the way to go. Because you'll get a boatload of fish, even though uh, like major or like half of them might be non-markers, you'll still be making so much XP. It's just, it's just like a bullet spread of XP, you know? So that's why whenever someone asks, hey, where do I go for XP? I say troll. 
just troll wherever it's active. If you have Archipelago and people are catching trophies and making a lot of money, go to those spots. Volkov, Cory, if they're active, go there. There's a new spot for trophy and blue tag on Ladoga. Tondis, hello, hello. Quagga, hello, hi. Okay, okay. Um, I honestly wanted to start at Amber today and then come to uh, <clears throat> the sea. But the issue is there's happy hour right now. And I don't want to spend it at Amber. I want to be at the sea, so... Well, Sam, you're just going to have to go to the official Discord or check out VK. That's literally what everyone should do if they don't. I don't go fishing without looking and doing my research. Because I can spend hours and do absolute trash and I still won't find out any good spots. So save yourself the time and trouble <laughs> and let people test the spots for you. For giblets, ah, man, I just I want a good spot at the ooh, 751 gram. Okay, that looked really big for a mackerel. I just uh, I want a good spot, you know, 55, 75 meter or something, 80 meter where the big fish are. Just want to fight. I don't have a kilometer of line on this. Butter reel for catching small fish. I have it for big fish. So maybe I might try the deeper holes and try new setups. Failed. Hi. 80 meter for bigger fish. Okay. 80 meter. I'm writing this down. Writing this down. Any suggestions on what lure, what setup I should use? Uh, the biggest hunter I can use is the 300. Even the 450 with the tractants is too heavy. So if there is a hunter that's working... <laughs> it's garbage. It's 62. <laughs> that's all I can do. Yeah, because I know the hunter 1000 is like the go-to if you want fresh. But I cannot use those. I don't have. Nor do I have the Mega Shad. They are uh, uh, locked for me. Take a Giga Jig and go to 80 meters. Look. <laughs> if I had the skill, I would. But all I can do is I can... Try the next best thing. And use, you know, the smaller ones. Quagga, I just started. Bro, come on. Uh, 1.2 kg mackerel, 4 kg turbo. That's it. I'm at the 41 using happy hour. So we're just going for uh, as many fish as I can. Quantity or quality right now. And then we will go 80 meters. I'll try out different lures. We can even jig with just fillets. We can put huge fillets or whatnot. <clears throat> All right, it's so 80 meter for big fish. Got it. You know, 80 meter is the spot where we got our 107 kg Greenland shark a few weeks ago. Maybe I should use that setup again. I don't know if that was before the restart or after. Ooh. That is a surprise catch. It was just a needle when I was pulling it out. 212 gram soury. That looks like a chonker to me. That's pretty big. Cool. All right, all right. Hey guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. All right, our lure is... We're going back here now. Now people, it's very rare, but at 34 and 41 meter, 
people do get Greenland and poor beagles, but it's like very low chance. So I'm not expecting to catch any of those things. Uh, but we will do 3441. We will juice the spots out as much as we can, get some skill points, and then we will go 80 meter hole. It'll be slow fishing, but uh, what I love about the 80, 55, and the deeper holes is there's just rare fish there, even though there's a slow buy rate. You can get wolfish, you can get redfish, you can get, uh, you know, uh, fl uh, not flounders, halibuts. Poor beagle, you know, the bigger fish too, so. Even though I'll probably be earning less. Got a 10 kg black card, very nice. Mackerel, Kai, okay. I feel this Lynn's octopus is attracting uh, the mackerels today because I do have three already. Ooh, yes, the shallower parts, 34, 30, 41, you do have a chance of getting a crab, although I feel like I've gotten a crab um, at the 55 meter hole. Oh yeah, for the Cali bro? I mean, 10 kg is nothing for the Cali bro. Ooh, fog with a 52 kg cod. Congrats. What is this? What is this? Lots of haddock today. Can we get a trophy haddock already? Uh, I think I already have a haddock trophy, no? Wow, I can't believe it. I have a haddock trophy. When did I get this? I think this is my most recent trophy. I have that trophy and I don't have the Saith. Gus, hi, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. 100 trophies. Big congrats on that. That is amazing. How's life been? How's, how's the Twitch streaming going? I apologize, I've not been able to attend. I do hop on some of your streams. Uh, but I don't stick around for long. Ever since the C came out, I've been doing 5-hour streams instead of 3-4-hour to four hour streams like I usually do. So after the stream, I am in a rush. You know, I render videos and I leave for dinner and... Oh, man. Going great, no worries. It's all good. Oh, nice. Good to, good to see you and good to see you're doing good. What happened about your IRL videos, by the way? I said in real life I will be going out fishing this spring and man I have like I'm willing to wake up early and go but I just again it's always been the same issue I don't know where the hell to go money issues it's all good Gus a woo point two percent it is all good. Crap, we're gonna chop this up. Conservation, my foot. I'm gonna chop it up. Four pieces. Tried recording on my phone, but it was poop. How is it that it's 2023, right? And the cell phone video quality is absolute trash. Like pictures, you know, phones are pretty good nowadays but video is just garbage that's all good <clears throat> so people suggested last stream for a conventional reel to buy tiaga and I was like, all right, I'll buy Tiago. That's like, what, 37, 40 grand, 43K. And I'm close by. 
and then I heard Tiaga the uh, what is it the durability durability is really bad and I should rather go for poop what real was it hold on I gotta check my discord big suggested a real it's not the real Gus has that's like an 80k real and there's no way I'm gonna get that it's a step below that real the steel head not the steel head hold on now I'm gonna buy that reel. I think it's 60k. Uh, let's see here. General. Oh my god. Lots of post. Albacore, yes! Albacore. I saw someone screenshot, they had like. 190 or something kg line and they still had 300 something meters on it uh so that's what i want and by the time i have enough money to buy the reel i'll probably be 75 percent in marine scale and then guys then i can actually go for catfish then i can go for catfish I never thought in my life I would bother buying a conventional reel because they were only good for like catfishing. Ooh, 1.4. And I just didn't like catfishing because nighttime cats are good and daytime you're just fiddling with your thumbs. So that's why I just never got into catfishing. Uh, but if I, you know, do get the Albuquerque reel, I, I can finally enjoy catfishing. So I was thinking about it guys, uh, this year's goal for me in RF4 is to catch a ghost carp trophy. And my long term goal as you guys knew was to catch a 100kg fish uh, before level hitting level 40 but I abandoned that target because I was never going to get it, I didn't have enough time to farm belugas. But man right after I hit level 40 we ended up catching that Greenland shark that was epic. That goal is done. That was a huge goal for me. And all that's left for this year, at least we're halfway through the year almost, is to catch a ghost carp. So recently, uh, Bobica, you know, got a ghost carp trophy at Amber, and I'm seeing a lot of trophies come from 169. So I was thinking of trying it out. I wanted to do it off stream, just sit at 169 for five hours straight. But man, just getting time is so hard and then ooh, tomorrow is a video game release it's a world first um, the the game is not out yet it'll be out in a few days at least the demo and the developer got into contact with me and I made coverage of the game so I have an embargo until uh, tomorrow tomorrow at 1 p.m so the gameplay video will be out then i guess a few other youtubers will probably be given access to a few so a few videos will be out from like different people at the same time My, matt hello how's it going mr if you want a ghost carpy you better get the pva what 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 I've been using PVA for like over a year now. <laughs> Bro, what happened to the buy rate? I wasn't paying attention. I was talking so much. You haven't gotten a fish yet? Oh no, it's only been one minute. Never mind. Yes, sir. I've been using PVA for about a year now, I think. So, not to worry. I wouldn't be going for ghost carp trophies. If I didn't have PVA. You're close to 75% marine skill. Oh man, you're so close. Wow. So close to getting PVA of the marine world. I don't like this. This was active for 20 minutes. You're telling me this lure died? 
Uh, but I saw screenshots on VK and people use one setup for like four hours straight in the same spot. So I think once the bite rate dies, I feel like I should just keep fishing with the same thing and I shouldn't switch it out. Is that the right way to do it? I, I don't know. I feel like as soon as the bite rate dies, switch to something else. You still have 87.3% in bottom. Oh, it was a grind getting to 100. Man, these 1 kg haddocks are so annoying. Look at these 2, 2, 3, 1. So someone made 700 silver in one hour here just using the orange foam. So results may vary by a lot for everyone. It's very hit and miss. Welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you're having an amazing, hope your start to the weekend's amazing. Hope your Saturday's going good. Staying at the sea here, uh, spending the first two hours, I would say, at the 41 and 34 meter hole, trying to catch as many fish as possible so we can up our marine scale. And then we're going to go 80 meter hole and try for some big fish. Let's see what we get today. No idea what lure I'm going to use there. Uh, we're just going to have to experiment. You know, when did this map come out, guys? Two months ago? One month ago? I feel like I forgot how to fish all the other maps. Like, when I go to Amber, I'm not even going to know what rod to equip. <laughs> I feel like that's what's going to happen to me. Spiny doggo fish hole. <laughs> you know, Gus, I was about to say that myself because I knew you were going to say it. I know you too well, Gus. <laughs> but I remained quiet. I'm like, you know what? He hasn't replied within the last two seconds. He won't say it. <laughs> yes, I'm always clueless. <laughs> What are you going for right now? Gussie Gus. If you are even playing RF4. Trying to catch your first crab? Oh. You mean... You mean something like this? This? Is this, is this, is this what you're looking for? Look at this. This thing's on... On too much coffee. Look at this thing. Uh, this was Floral Pilk 235 last weekend at the, what was it guys, 34 or 30 meter hole. But extreme RNG, so just because I caught it, you know, and I don't have the bigger one. <laughs> tweaking, mad tweaking. Some crack cocaine. Haddock, what is this 1kg haddock farm? Rasmus, hello, hello, welcome. Yeah, all the best with your crab hunt. Hey, I already got crabs. So. I mean, what? Let me check the weeklies, what they're biting on.
Weekly's edible crab. Ooh, all on the lurker. 27th, which should be today. Yeah, today's the 27th. Yeah, nice. Lurker 100. What are we using? Oh, Lurker 100. Look at us. Are you gonna like throw it on your wall? I guess only if it's a trophy, but will you throw a crab on the wall? Oh my god, what is this? Haddock, one, 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 one. I wish these were all seats so we could <laughs> make fillets out of them. Yeah, you're gonna convert it? Nice. Oh, order for haddocks? I mean, I'm gonna be here for five hours. Hopefully the order's still alive by then. Thank you, Gus. Thank you, thank you. Is this Sculpin? Uh, sixty-two point two, Peter Noster, and then seventy. Ah, <sighs> fifty-five and no, sir. I'm at the thirty-four right now. Just trying to catch as many fish as I can during happy hour. And then we're gonna go eighty meter hole for some trouble. I hope we get it though. I hope we get into trouble. Cause I feel like it's. It's going to be a struggle. You had a Greenland at the 80 meter yesterday? Damn! A Halibut trophy! Hot damn! Um... What, what lure, Rasmus? Congrats, congrats. Hey, I got the 107 kg Greenland at the 80 meter, if I remember correctly. But I believe that was before uh, the restart or the reset. Roll can from Discord. Yes. This is very small. What is this going to be? Oh, it's a mackerel. 0.2%. <gasps> yes, sir. I think you put up the Discord on last night. Okay, let me check it out. Uh, in general, there's so many posts in general, it's insane. I can't even keep up. Uh, let me look at the spot here. RF4 spot. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. Uh, you were using the orange floral pilk. Okay. Uh, I think we used that setup last week as well. We didn't get much, but I mean, new day, a new attempt. All right, we'll try that. <gasps> Man, why? Give me a marker. How are we doing here? 32 minutes, 22 markers. Skill level went up by 0.4. So that's good. Welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Crab? No. I notice I'm getting a lot of non-marker place and other fish now. Even the eel pout, I got like four or five eel pouts yesterday when I was here. And they were all non-markers and only two were markers and they were tiny. It's like the size of all the fish has been reduced. 
even though we're using the same four odd hooks. You're trying 55, all the best. Real bad fishing there for the last two days must be good. You won't know till you try, right? <laughs> uh, hey, just because I'm if I'm not fishing in the other maps, that's a good thing, right? Because all the spots should be replenished by now. I didn't fish them out, so they should be amazing. <laughs> it should be like that, not the other way around. What is this? Turbot? Turbot or a place? Twenty five meters. Ooh, two point eight kg turbot. Man, it's tiny. Uh, we have tiny place and Four and two point eight kg turbot. That's not too bad. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Uh oh, is this a non marker? No, it's a one kg spiny doggo fish. So flat, like a speed bump. It's a aggressive speed bump, actually. Look at the inclination here. Should be flatter. Coolio. Quidian, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing good, how about you? I uh, might only one thinking that Voga Xander is weird. What's weird about it? My line is 1.2% damaged. That's the type of wear and tear uh, that we need on the Golaf reel and everything else. Like the wear and tear is so slow on it. That's how it should be for all the gears. But nope. It's butter reel. Lots of small fish. <laughs> what is this? This tiny little pancake. I'm just so happy there's no rain for the next five hours. Because every time I'm here on the map, we always get rain. Whether it be for one hour, two hours, doesn't matter. It's just rain, rain, rain.
People are saying Golaf is so good you should get it. Not really. Um, it all depends on what the heck you're gonna do with that goal off. Like, oh my god, another one kid you had it. Why? Goal off is only good uh, for the sea. You don't need a goal off for sturgeon fishing at Tunguska or Aktuba or the Doga or anything anywhere else. The only place I see the need for Golav coming close is uh, Ladoga Lake, where you go after buckets from the island, I think. And maybe when you're trolling at Archipelago and you hook into a bucket. That's the only time where you might get spooled. Uh, besides that, though, you don't. Avenja does whatever the Golaf does better. A Baltic. I call Baltic buckets because that's how much they're worth anyway. really quiet map. That is a lot of drifting for it to go out 45 meters. Okay, tiny fish. Eel pout, yay! It's a cool looking fish and I love its texture. It's just so HD quality. Pilk, Floris Pilk. Looks like a hose. What? You have a very strong imagination. Roughhead Grenadier. I still don't have uh, a few fish species yet. The search for the elusive continues at the sea.
Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Give me a moment here. Dokes. All right. It feels like it's morning, but it's not. It's 2.30. Okay. I see we've been drifting back. Here we go. Hello, I'm good. You poor big guy 55. Very nice. I'm going to try the 80 meter. And if after like an hour, we don't get any results, we can move to 55. Wait, 11? Oh, okay. For a moment, I was like, wait, spiny dogfish, 11.8 kg? That's massive. But no, that's a poor beagle. I mean, I've gotten like 6 kg and 10 kg poor beagles here too, 34, 41. It's very random. Ah, oh, stupid haddock. At least we got scaled, so. Coolio. Wow, I'm at 59 trophies? Damn. Well, with the new map, I guess it helps. Very nice, Caladian. Very nice. Forty two different types of trophies. Cool.
All right, 4 a.m. Time for the fishies to wake up. And the buy rate to go up. We have been fishing for 50 minutes. So we have about seven, eight minutes of happy hour left. Well, no, it should be 10 minutes. I was including the boat ride here as happy hour, but we, it started when we casted our first cast. I'm going to buy the albacore. That's what uh, my mind is set at. You're trying to get a trophy pie, good old bird. Good luck. Gimme fish. Why did was there a freeze? I don't like how much freezing there's happening in the game now. It wasn't a thing before. Right before the rain starts, it freezes. Sometimes when a fish is about to hook, it freezes. And then random freezing here and there. Stutter, freeze, whatever you want to call it. You never get those? Why is that a question? It's probably their code and whatever my hardware is. Uh, probably that's the issue. Come on, I need the spot to wake up. 10 minutes was the last fish. Stefan, hello, welcome. Uh, that's what I asked, Clarion. It needs to be unique trophies. Right, I have 59 unique trophies. I have 300 th trophies regular. And that's a meaningless number because you can literally farm Crucian Gibbles and Roaches and have a thousand plus trophies before you're even level 30. So no one looks at the amount of trophies, only look at unique trophies. Okay, yeah, we'll see how much longer the spot lasts. I'm kind of itching to, to go to the 80 meter hole. Sate, me boy. Any 4 kids your bigger Sate, I keep. And under 4k, you got chop up. Ooh, good luck, Rasmus. Looked into something good using the setup you posted on Discord. That's great. Now I don't know what to do. Should we go 55 first or 80? Attic, 4kg.
what will be after the Norwegian Sea? Uh, aren't they doing fly fishing right now? I think their focus is on fly fishing and then what happens after fly fishing, nobody knows. We're not even sure if they are doing fly fishing. They don't really communicate with us, so. Maybe like a fly fishing map after that. Well, obviously, I'm very sure they will uh, change a few things on current maps to make them or to enable them for fly fishing, where you will be able to walk in the river. So like, you know, Tunguska Small River is the perfect fly fishing. Um, Bilea, a part of it is shallow and you can do walk in a little bit, maybe do fly fishing. Yama as well. Adrian, hello, welcome. I'm doing good. How are you? Mackerel. You leveled up 0.5%. Okay. <laughs> I doubt anything will be easy to get a blue tag off. Just because it's fly fishing doesn't mean the RNG will be cranked up for blue tags, right? So. You're not sure what kind of fish this is? Hopefully a new fish you haven't caught before. If it's really lazy and not sp uh, and not overheating your line, but it's taking your line out for a few seconds, then it stops, then it takes out again for a few seconds, then it stops consistently, then that is 100% Greenland. There's like four fish you haven't caught. Yeah, there's many fish I haven't caught yet. Uh, got back into real life fishing event today. Ooh, how did that go? I really hope you got something good. Uh, king crab, tuna, swordfish, the opa, uh, the football fish, the arctic skate, the the eel pout. I think there's another variant of eel pouts. Northern eel pout or something. So yeah, there's a few fish I don't have. Oh man, happy hour ended. Got four gibbles and 10 to 15 bream. Nice. Man, that's amazing. Very nice. You have a 23 kg opa. When it got released, second version esque marks. Yes, esque marks, eel pout. Yep, 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 yep. So, plenty of fish I don't have. Oh man. Hey, at least we got a skill point. Our first one of the day. <laughs> Just reminding us we're playing RF4. <laughs> I don't need your crummy thumbs up.
55 and the 80 meter are same distance from here. Razi, you're using the Floripilk and the orange and red at 55, the exact same setup you posted on uh, Discord. We posted a new setup. You did? Oh, you did. Yes. Okay. This is the usual, the usual setup. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Will you see my ghost carp in my profile? I tell people that costs a dollar to check your profile out. Catch. Let's see here. Common ghost carp trophy. Very nice. Krill and salmon. Very nice. Uh, leather carp trophy, Gucci, not bad, that must have felt good, oh come on, oh, man, fish got away, it was on this whole time, very nice, congrats on the ghost carp trophy. You haven't played R4 in a while. Have you had any luck with new crabs they added? Uh, I got one crab, the edible crab, a marker, and that's pretty much it. I don't have the king crab yet. Uh, but they're pretty rare. <laughs> no probs. Rasmus, are you still fighting the fish? Yeah, I bet you are. Because if you caught the fish, you would have posted here what it was. 30 meter? What? Oh, it's 30 meters away. Okay, 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 okay. You almost have it. Okay, that was a short fight. You got a king crab earlier, but a very small one. Still marker. Noise. Mithri. Hello. Yeah, they're complete RNG. It doesn't matter where you are. Actually, has anyone caught a crab in the 55 or 70 or deeper holes? That's what I would like to know. You got yours at 55. Yeah, I feel king crabs are going to be in the deeper holes and the edibles are going to be in the shallow. Here was for them 41. All right, so literally depth does not matter for crabs by the sounds of it. This drifting is pretty annoying. How many, how many fish do we have? 30 markers in one hour. Not too bad. We did get a lot of non-markers too. All right. Um, I think I'm going to fish for a few more minutes here and then we will move to 55 meters. Uh, we will give 55 a shot for one hour. If it's good, we will stay there. If it's trash, we will move to 80 meters and try that for another hour. And uh, yeah, let's try to get something exciting, something big. What is this place? Turbo? Cod. Attic, 6kg. 
Okay, okay, we have Haddock here. Sate, nothing big. Oh man, we need more Sate. I got 56 pieces left. Damn. Uh, all the seats were coming from the 41 meter hole. <laughs> it's a poor halibut. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Mackerel, barely a marker. How many kg halibut? Is it? Are you even gonna get money back from it? You're using eight odd hook, and on your f uh, fluorescent pilk. Do you also have eight odd hook or is it just calm is it the regular four odd or whatever hook on that? One KG haddock again. Regular one? Alright, cool. Ooh, 30 kg halibut. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Halibuts are just boring. <laughs> Even if it is a big fight, I'm hoping it's not a halibut. Fifteen sterlets an hour, not bad. Yeah, sometimes they just act a little weird. Floropilk hair? Uh, sure, I can try that. I mean, this lure's been doing decent. Whenever I get the next fish, I'll switch it out to floral. <clears throat> Dry gin char weekly record, only 4.4 kg. How much are we gonna drift, bro? Oh, are we at the edge? We might be at the edge and have to move. Yeah, it's too much drifting. So. Uh, let's move inside the 34. And I think at night we will move to 55. What the heck? What was that? Oh. Laurel Pilk. Oh man, everything resets. What was I using? 
octopus fillet. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. First fish trophy. Let's go. Come on, give me something. Not a trophy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes. Okay. Edible crab, 248 gram. Nice. Small, but nice. Two point three kg place. Okay, that's gonna be some money. Our biggest place yet. Fat seal. Hi. Hello, hello, sailing. Mackerel. Seven twenty nine gram. If a fish strikes at a shallow depth, you know it's a Mac. 1.9 kg whiting. Okay, okay. You're getting some quality fish there. We'll head there at night. Yeah, I have, I have no idea what kind of RNG I'm going to get there. But we'll see. Had some luck yesterday. Nice, nice. You got a trophy whiting. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> I 
Not a bad buy rate. 1 hour 14 minutes 38 markers. Not bad. It's going to be a bit of money. Nothing crazy, but... Four kg. <laughs> you got surprised. <laughs> oh man. Nice. Congrats, congrats. I don't know if this floral pilk is doing any better. It's raining. Ah, on forty one, it's great. Yeah, night time it will move to 55. Uh, the wear and tear on this thing is terrible. I have had a few big fish. Oh, come on, bro. But it still wears out after you catch a few or plenty of smaller fish, too. I feel it's much faster than Avenger. So. I call it the butter reel. Yeah, I mean, it has to have a downside, right? It has a kilometer of 60 kg line you can put on. So the devs were like, that's way too OP. We gotta level it out somehow. Oh my god, what is this garbage? Two in a row. Mahajlo, hi, how's it going? Try what? Extra large three. Tiny little place. Extra large three. Oh, you want me to try the blue? Okay. I am 62.6%. Not far enough. So, still garbage until you get to, what, 75%? Which is sad. Yeah. 
Ja, ja. Man, I can't believe it. I was at 30%. You know, when, when the C came out, I bought the 10,000 silver book. Got up to 30%. And from 30% to 62% we're at now. That's a lot of hours. You're at 92%. Damn. Yeah, that's a lot of grind. That's crazy. Wow. 92%. Five to six hours in game. Way too much. That's still way too much. Five to six hours. I don't have the luxury of time. So I had to buy the book. You're sticking with a poker rod and not spending any silver until I unlock the heavy bolt rod? Yeah, basically that's what you do. There's nothing else you can put money on anyway. Come on, foam. You can do this. We will try the blue colored once we get a fish on this. So you basically just got like two or three decent quality fish and that was it for the 55. Just a hit and miss, honestly. Faith me boy, 7 kg. Alright, so you said try the blue. Yeah, blue. Alright. Man, I'm at 3 million XP. How did we even get there that quickly? Forty markers now. Uh, we might have a full net before we even hit the five hour mark. Since the new map, you level up twenty eight to thirty one. <coughs> <coughs> nice. <coughs> noise, noise, noise. Yeah, I leveled up from 39 to 40. But I was like over, what, halfway through level 39? Decent take. Okay. What's going on here? What am I doing? It's 30 meters. There we go. Bottom. Thirty-four meters stopped. Yeah. All right, all right.
I think we need to move back to the 30. Because we're at 30 depth right now. Twenty thousand fish and zero blue tags. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh man, I'm level forty and I still don't have a blue tag. I may buy a medium boat rod because the other rigs you can't use a pilka rod. Oh wait, we got a fish. Wow, we got a fish. Hey, Whiting! Welcome, bruv. We will just reverse our way back. 33,000 fish. No blue tag. I tried for blue tags like two weekends in a row, two streams in a row, I think. Uh, when uh, the Crucian and Gibbles uh, were active, where you're people are catching blue tags I did not catch a single blue tag and after that I uh, never bothered <laughs> oh no you try 80 meter with large fillet only got cusks Uh, if you have any to spare. <laughs> the small one. Hey, another percent. Yes, I really hope we hit 63%. I hope every five hour stream we do is five hour ticket here. We gain one skill level. That would be amazing until we hit 75. But it usually takes, I think, like 10 hours to hit, I would say, one and a half percent. With the foam, honestly, you just gotta keep switching out colors until you get one that gets bites. Not much happening on the blue one. It is evening. It should be decent fishing, but... Salem, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wow, mackerel? <gasps> I've never used mackerel. That is insane. That's a lot. Thank you. Amaze balls. You wait, 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 wait. I'm not doing this. I'm using orange. I could ever say that I get almost have a few thousand pieces. Damn. That's how you reach 92%. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of time. What's your biggest fish at the sea then? So far.
160kg. Okay, okay. The only famous fish so far are European anglers. I have no idea what that means. Uh, famous inhabitants. Ah. Oh. 50, 55, 42 kg. I can't wait to catch these and sell them. You are right, Elite. Only three famous inhabitants and they are that. Guys, a few more minutes at the spot before we hit the 55. Hopefully it does really good. But if it doesn't, we will go to 80 and then we'll make our way to 41 if we have time. Now much luck on Big Fish 2 Halibut Trophy. 75 kg. Poor Beagle, 130 kg sword. Wow. You have 130 kg sword, but you don't have a green land. That is... <laughs> You have to release them or you get a fine. What? Are you serious? I have Greenland but only 60? Okay. Bro, what kind of garbage is that? You're telling me I cannot sell the famous inhabitants? So I destroy my reel catching a famous inhabitant, right? And you're telling me I'm not getting any money for it? Okay, I'd be really pissed if that was the case. I've not heard of a fine. I've never been able to keep them. Ooh, cod. It has been some time. I've, I've never heard of a fine, if I'm being honest with you. That is interesting and stupid. I don't agree with that. If you catch a famous inhabitant, you should get the money and like you can release them. Force release. But if I put all that wear and tear on my setup and I can't even sell it. Uh, but again, I've never heard of anyone say that you get a fine. Other YouTubers said this. See, there's one thing about people saying it, and there's the other thing where they actually catch, and there's, like, evidence. <laughs> so. I want to see some, you know, some facts here. What is this tiny thing? Ah, eel pout, hello! Uh, 271 gram, 260 gram. I hope there's an eel pout order. I think it's 3 or some gram amount they'll pay a pretty penny because honestly over the years i've heard so many people say different things about you know things about rf4 and i'm like yeah show me the proof because i don't believe you <laughs> that's how i am now
6th anniversary reels. All I know is they're in the marketplace. So I haven't bothered checking them out. I don't even know what reels they are. Uh, I think people said there's like a new Venja skin. And it looks better than the regular one. Since you can only buy it with IRL money, I didn't bother checking them out. Niranja, Borelica, and Imperial. Yeah, when you catch a famous inhabitant, you can keep them and sell them, or you can release them. Yes. Okay, good. And yes, if you do release them, they keep growing. Edible crab come from 41 meter hole. That's the truth. Okay. Spiny dogfish, 1 kg. Wow. Can we get any smaller? 1.075, 1.024. They're going to be worth like 5 silver. Go to hospital for a few hours. Alright, sailing. Uh, hope everything is okay. And uh, we will... See you in a bit. Almost two hours of fishing, 500 silver, not bad. Um, I'm going to AFK for two, three minutes. I will be right back as well.
Okay, I'm back. Let's go free vibe. All right, so Floropilk is what you're using. Oh man, I don't have a dot hook. Uh, what are you using? Blue? That's it, huh? Okay. Nikeltis, hello, welcome into the stream. You just have thirty six percent marine skill. Ah, it's all good. It will take time. It's a free to play grindy game. It will take time. bought premium I bought premium for three days and we leveled up a little bit uh, but I mean premium is a waste because it's only one hour of happy hour which is all I use oh man a bit too early Okay. Let's see how this goes. It's not 4 a.m. yet. Lots of fish, but you can see it's very sad. 4 kg up till here. All of these are 4 kg plus. Everything else is 3 kg and 1 kg. So even though there's a lot of fish, they are kind of worth less. Higher chance of leveling up outside of happy hour? I guess, yeah. Uh, but that's true, I think. But my main issue is I only get to play this game on the weekend, right? I stream Saturday and Sunday and that's it. So buying premium doesn't make sense for me. Because at the least, there's three day premium and the third day is a wash. And then one day premium is it's so expensive. So it just doesn't fit my schedule. You have nine E left over? I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what kind of pickling does what. 
I feel it's no difference. It's easier for me to do strong pickling, so I just do strong pickling. Nine euros. Ah, I see. What's this fish going to be? Something interesting, I hope. Ooh. Atlantic wolf, way, way, way. Three kg, it's not gonna be much. But it's a good start. See, the wolf fish are in the deeper holds. You do get them at 34 and 41 sometimes. But 80 meters is where they're just prolific. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. What do we got? Blue stuff and the strip. Four a.m. So hopefully, uh, the fish start coming in. These haddocks are following me. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. All these 1 and 2 kgs. Haddock. Nah, the cusks are still here. They're far worse. Hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> Look at all these addicts. One kg, this like one silver two silver at least there's a cafe order but i think it might expire by the time i get there
1.7 kg edible crab region or record. Ooh. Are we out of the 35? No. We're close to. I know. Where are the bites? Give it on steroids. Well, I hope it works. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, man, three point eight. That felt so big. Yeah, right off the bat, a European angler. It's a baby. It's not going to be worth any money. But I am happy. Look at that. That's our second rare fish ever since uh, the, the update came out last week. A crab and a European angler are the two first rare fish I've caught so far. I am now at the 55 meter hole. Uh, maybe 8 odd hook I should try, but I don't have 8 odd. With the blue strip at the 35 right here to the bottom strong pickling that is not 50 plus silver a 3.8 kg how i hope it is i hope you're right they're just so darn wide even if they are small they still look big Yours was 30 something, can't remember. 30 kg or 30 silver? Oh, 30 silver. So there you go. So that 3 kg, 3.8 kg is going to be 30 silver. You love that fish? Yeah, I like it too. You know, it's a very expensive fish. It's a very interesting looking fish. Football fish is... I really want to see that fish. Okay, another fish here. Cusk? No, it's a haddock. At least it's a 6 kg. You know what? I'll take that. Haddock. I 
All right, so nine minutes ago, we arrived at the spot. One, two, three, four, five fishies. First trophy group cable, congrats. Good, good, it's better than Cusks, right? Ugh, Razamus. Sate me boy, you are a 3 kg, I will keep you. Congrats, congrats. You're gonna get a lot of trophies. And then we will see if there's a cafe order for Sate. Uh, if there isn't, I will chop up all the 3 kg Sate and smaller. How many a trophy cusk? Yeah, same. I want a trophy Sate and a cusk. Because I don't have those. Here, 5555. 55. Give me an interesting fish. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Bite rate is not too slow, honestly. It's not a bad bite rate. I just hope this continues, though. And I think I definitely want to go to the 80 meter hole. Unless we get a few big fish and I don't want any more big fish for the day. I want to go to 80 after this. Pollock 7.3. This is... Isn't this the exact same model for the Sate? Just a different color? I think it is. Look at this, Sate and Pollock, exact same model.
Ooh. Resistance dancing a little bit could be a very small shark or a halibut maybe? No, not a halibut. Halibut just stick it down like a rock. Let's see what this is. <gasps> hey! Uh, Kemal? Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the family. Yay. No, that's just a cod. Oh, it's a seat. 10 kg seat. Okay, I'll take that. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yay. We are at 22 likes. What do you guys think? 40 likes should be our goal for today or 50? Did I drink coffee or tea? No, not yet. Tiny fish, but weighs a ton. You can see how little on the resistance bar it is. But we're not reeling it in fast enough. Interesting. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, oh, it's a seed. <laughs> You're watching my old videos, then you saw, hey, hold on, this dude's online. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the other content and videos on the channel. I appreciate all your support. Yeah, glad, I hope you're enjoying it. Grinding out the Norwegian Sea here. Looking for some interesting fish and some big fish. Right now. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate those kind words. Too much drifting going on here. What is the trophy size for the angler? Is it 25 kg? Because blue tag uh, are 50 kg, right? 45, 55. Wow, 45 is a blue tag? Man, we're 70 meters away now. Oh, okay, Rasmus. Okay. The Cusk expert. Tiny fish here. Unless it's a crab. 
Nope. A lighting. Sixteen minutes, eight markers. One point seven KG carp Gibble Crucian, what? Another small fish. I wonder if changing to small fillets will make a difference or large fillet. Damn it, Cusk, I hate you so much. Large fillet, go. We might try large fillet. If we get one or two fish that are still small size, I'll switch it out for small. You're trying the small fillet, okay. What did you get your core chart? Noise. There's too much drifting going on here. Yay, we got something. Oh, damn. Angry. Almost snapped our, our line here. Yay. Just switched to large fillet. And instantly we got something. Halliburber? Whatever. It's a big fish. That's what I wanted. Okay, now I really oh god damn it I don't know if I should lock it
How strong is my reel? Doesn't matter. I have 60. Oh, oh damn. I have 60 kg line. Did you guys see that? It full maxed out my resistance. I am not locking this thing. Damn. Yo, I'm surprised it didn't snap my line. Oof. <sighs> All right. No locky just yet. Now it's really angry. Damn. Before I was being lazy. What is 20 kg? It's gonna take us half hour. Nah, 20 kg we can full lock. This is why I want the conventional reel. You got 62 kg halibut on that hook. I got 6 aught. And large, oh my god, I put large instant. What RNG, wow. Woo wee! Wow, that was a very strong hit. See, it was walking like this, and I just full locked it, and then it went berserk all of a sudden. That's when it maxed out my friction, but somehow it didn't snap my line. I wish it was head shakes, because that would confirm it's a Greenland. Uh, but no head shakes yet. Because I remember when I fought that Greenland, it was taking out line for a little bit, and then it would just sit around and do nothing. And then it would take out some line and there's nothing I can do. And this is somewhat similar, like it takes a line like this, and then it stops. But when I had the Greenland um, in the first few minutes, like it really felt like a shark because the friction was going everywhere. And it's not for this, so... I think it's a halibut. I, I hope it is not. Fifty five meters out. I mean, it only went up to sixty. Yeah, it does feel like a halibut though. It's taking a line very slow. And I don't want to full lock because I know it's going to run all of a sudden. Mm, not a Greenland, Sam. Most likely not. I want to really full lock it right now because it's not doing anything, but... Well, see this?
hey, I wanted a big fish, even though this might be, you know, 20 to 30 kg, maybe even more depending on how long it is. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. This is what I wanted. So there we go. <laughs> Ooh, dang it. That's why I was not locking. You think it's a 42 kg? Okay, okay. Oh, now you think it's 43. Under 50 silver halibut. Man, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> the damage it's gonna do to my reel. Bienu, hello. How's. How goes it? Okay, okay, 43. Ah, halibut is at the 80. I'm at 55 and we potentially have a halibut. After the 55, I am going to go to 80. Unless we keep getting decent fish. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I stream RF4 Saturdays and Sundays. Seventy-five meters out. Man, we were making. We brought it from sixty to fifty-five meters, and now it's gone. Even got thirteen kg spotted wolffish. There's lots of wolffish over there. Oh, it's halibut free. I see. I see. That's good. Yeah, I remember the two or three times I've been to the 80 meter hole, loads of wolffish there. Oh, Dijon says otherwise, 80 meter hole has halibuts. Your result may vary. You got seven halibuts in two hours at the 80 meters. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, listen, I guess you just got lucky that you did not hook into a halibut because at least two people here fully loaded in Bianu got halibuts. Haliburber. Man, it's 90 meters out now, bro. We brought it all the way to 50. Torreira, hello, welcome. It's You think it's a shark? I hope it's a Greenland. But because it, when it runs, it runs. Uh, Mihajla, no, I am not going to Amber. I'm sorry, I should have taken it out of the title. Welcome everyone, welcome. Oh god, it's 100 meters now. Is this the halibut the way it's running, guys? Because I have caught, what, a 65 kg halibut and it ran pretty fast and it took out 200 meters of line. So I'm always skeptical of what fish it is unless I really know. I mean, I want it to be a Greenland. I want anything but the halibut. <laughs> uh. And it still has a lot of energy the way it runs. 
fourteen percent. Are you? St oh my God, guys! Just like three minutes ago, we were at thirteen point six percent friction break damage, and now you're telling me it's fourteen percent. This is a butter reel. It's it's a joke. Thirty kg cusk. I hate you, Bianu. Because if it's not you <laughs> going on about cusks, <laughs> it's Rasmus. <laughs> That he doesn't leave me alone. <laughs> the thing is, people who think Golov is good are the non-Golov owners. Uh, the only good thing about the Golov versus the Venja is that it has a bigger spool. You can hold, you know, one kilometer of 60 kg line. And that's it. That's the only benefit. Um, in order to balance the Golov out, they made sure that it wears and tears very fast. So it is terrible on wear and tear. And the only map you should be using the Golov is at the sea. Because uh, you don't need it in Aktuba. You don't need it at Tunguska for Sturgeons. Really doesn't have a place there. Man, very angry this fish. 105 meters out. Lower 50 kg halibut, you think? Okay. 62.5? I don't know how you can guess that. Like, it's it's still so early. Or late, I don't know. Once I start bringing the fish in, that's when you start guessing. Because then you know exactly how long it fought for. Right now, we're just in mid-fight. It could be, you know, it could fight for the next five minutes. It could fight for the next half hour. Wenja has only two downsides. The spool being three times smaller and the reeling speed. Uh, Sam, the Golov has a worse reeling speed than the Wenja. Oh, overall, the Wenja downside. Yeah, reeling speed. If you want reeling speed, conventional, obviously, is the only way to go. 115 meters out, it's still taking out line. Hot dang you uh, Biggest halibut, 61 kg is what we have. And if I remember correctly, it took out 170 meters of line. Yeah, 57 fish somehow. I can't believe it. Although like 50 of the fish are 1 kg haddocks. For big fish, you will use the slow speed either way. On the conventional. 120 meters out now. Conventionals take the top one on trolling and big fish. Yeah, and catfish. 125 meters out. 130 meters out. That is one tenth of our spool gone. <laughs> Stop it, fully loaded. Stop it. <laughs> Leave the reel alone. Oh my god, 14.3%. Are you kidding me? How? <coughs> wow. Yo, this has to be a Greenland. Please tell me it's a Greenland. The way it takes out line all of a sudden. Yo, all of this 31,000 silver I made is going for the repair on this reel. I'm at 55. I just threw a large fillet and instantly after casting I got this thing.
I have no idea what you just said, Stefan. 140 meters. Yeah, 55 H7. You're still catching small ones? Listen, you got like a 30 something kg halibut, I think, already. And like one or two other interesting fish, so. You just gotta wait your turn. You gotta wait for RNG to dish it out to you. See, if I had fully loaded reel and set up, this would be a two minute fight. Maybe it's good for beluga sturgeons, but not for this map. Wait, what? This reel? This reel is only good for the sea, not for sturgeons and belugas. Because you don't need one kilometer of line. Alright, for years we've been using Venges to catch trophy belugas and and sturgeons. This reel wouldn't even last till the end. 14.4, oh my god. Oh, stop making me look at the friction break damage. Uh, because all the sturgeons and belugas are in a river. You're not worried about the fish taking out too much slime. So you don't need a huge spool. Like at Tunguska, all you need to all you need is what a hundred seventy meters of line, right? Because uh, the East Siberians they go to the opposite shore and that's it. Two hundred to be. Yeah, the. The most risky spot I know of for sturgeons is at Ladoga Lake, where you fish from the island. That is the scariest spot for Baltics. I've never been there. I think I tried once, but I didn't get anything in like an hour of fishing. One fifty five meters still. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 200 meters just to be safe, 170 is how much it takes out. Romario, hello, welcome to the stream. 160 meters out, I have no idea how long this fight is, or has been. 165. Yo, this fish is still taking out line. I don't think it's a small fish anymore. I mean, if it's a halibut, might as well be a trophy halibut. I'll take that. But that's going to be a two-hour fight. So we have a long ways to go. <laughs> have a time you had 119 no sir I'm at 55 meter hole absolutely not I have another five hour boat ticket I have a one hour boat ticket I have a two hour boat ticket I think so Rasmus I am not an amateur okay from a very low level, I've always kept extra boat tickets. Duncan, long time. How's it going? Every time I arrive, you got something big? Oh man, Duncan, you need to... 
You need to tune into these streams more often then. <laughs> 180 meters of line. We're like 20 minutes in and it's still taking out line. Yes, sir. I'm not that clueless in this game. I'm pretty clueless, but not that clueless. <laughs> I can't believe I was full locking it at the beginning of the fight. And fully loaded, you weren't here. Uh, but all of a sudden, it maxed out my friction break. And you know, when, when it maxes out your friction break, your friction break bar, the entire thing glows. If that's ever happened to you. And it was glowing before I unlocked it. And this is the second or third time in my R4 career it maxed out my break but it did not break my setup or line super fortunate super busy re super busy recently i really enjoyed the vibe here oh amazing thank you <laughs> yeah just busy week with irl work and stuff but i'm here still 185 meters of line You know, I was hoping I'd have enough money to buy a conventional reel and not to use this reel again, but... You got 20 glowing bars and no broken lines. Uh, that is absolute amateur. You are 100% right. If you've had 20 glowing bars, you're definitely pretty bad at full locking. <laughs> oh, now you think it's 82 kg halibut. Okay, I like that number. 190 meters of line. Guys, do you think this is going to hit 20% to wear and tear on our reel? We're, we're over 1%. We are over 1.3% wear and tear. Oh, absolutely, Duncan. This map has finally convinced me that I need a conventional reel. Before this map, I did not care for conventional reels. <laughs> it won't be about 16 kg. Uh, someone needs a timeout. <laughs> Rasmus, damn, chill. The longer the fight is, the bigger the fish gets. Oh, it won't go above 16. Okay, okay. That's a good number. That's a good number. I wonder what will happen if you just put some fire next to the goal off. Please don't. You just got 18.9999 kg seat. Fat rip. Not really. That is a rip but not a fat one. Because it's not a rare fish. 200 meters of line out now. Stop it, guys. Stop it. I know it's melting, but you... <laughs> uh, is this a halibut? Most likely, yes. Oh, we got it down 295 meters. It's still gonna take out over 200. You're good. <laughs> you guys love watching my pain and misery. So glad. It's so entertaining when <laughs> when Mista's reels are getting destroyed. Uh, Two hundred meters again. Yo, if I'm being honest with you, the 107 kg Greenland was an easier fight than this. Like, I love the Greenland so much. Maybe I was really fortunate and we had like a really dead Greenland shark. But 45 minutes and we had 107, I was shocked. I did not think getting 100 kg fish in this game was going to be that easy.
I think this guy's tiring out. He's not run. He hasn't ran full speed in a while now. So I think he's done. Stop it. Okay, he's back to 200. He, he heard me, didn't he? How dare you talk about my strength like that? Oh no, 205 meters? Man, I'm hungry right now. IRL. <laughs> I just had to say, didn't I? <laughs> I've been fighting for 25 minutes. Thank you, thank you. I think it's been longer. It's 200 meters out. Wow, record king crab 9.5 kg. Damn. I had no idea these crabs grew that big. Oh, now it's coming in real fast. 28 minutes, okay. Alright, that fish just lied to me. It was swimming towards us, so we, reel we were reeling it kind of fast. And then it turned around and... Bro, chill. Why so angry? <laughs> you know you're gonna end up in my boat. Back to bear you go. Okay, okay. 195 still. It's been half hour of fighting. About. Uh, he did take out 205 meters of line. I brought him down to 195 meters. And now he's back to 200. So... Good sized by the looks of it. Imagine if this is an Opa. Look, man, I'll be really happy if it's any other fish other than a halibut. Opa! Blue cask. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder how they fight. Opa ran a lot faster than this. Okay. Uh, yeah, Quagga, you did tell us what Opa means, but I've forgotten already. Oh, it's down to a 185 meters.
You got two opas at 55 meter, nice. Down to an 80 meter. Damn, 29 kg mirror ghost carp. Coming out for the weekly. How to fight a big fish? So when you're fighting sturgeons, there's a you you need to pay attention to uh, where you direct the fish. Right? Just keep calm in the boat. Yeah. If you don't have a lot of line on your spool left, you have to get a lot aggressive with it. You gotta start full logging it and take the risk of, you know, getting screwed. And then as soon as you're about to get getting spooled, all the four. <laughs> uh, with sturgeons, for instance, at Tunguska, you want to make sure that the sturgeon goes directly opposite of you in a straight line to the coast. If it goes too much left or right, right, uh, you're gonna get spooled. That goes for all other sturgeons at Octuba as well. So you have to direct them and you, ne you need to make sure. Forty three kg Mirad Bear. Damn. Whoops, I just drank coffee. I drank a second time. So I have a lot of line on this pool, so I don't need to act all aggressive and take risks. Right? It's all about how patient are you? How much time do you have? But with sturgeons from shore fishing, I'm usually aggressive. I will full log them if I can. Especially at Tunguska, I love full locking them. Bringing in, you know, 20, 30, even 40 kg East Siberian Sturgeons, full locking them and walking back is the best feeling in the game. And they pay a lot of money, so. Now I get the same amount of fish as you. <laughs> the trophy Russian came in 40 seconds and locked. Damn. How do you know when you can full lock or not? So just see, obviously you need to have a big, a big setup, right? You need to do it properly. Uh, once you do have the setup, what I look at is, okay, how much is the fish running? Is it running a lot at 29 break? If it's running a lot, then you know you cannot full lock it because it will very quickly, um, like max out your line. And you get a sense of how big the fish is. Can you even full lock it? Sometimes, like right now, if it's really slow, I'll full lock and I'll see. And I'll keep an eye on my tension bar. If at times it quickly maxes out or goes to max, then I won't lock it again. Because I know it still has a lot of strength left. And I'll wait. 
Like right now I can full lock this. And because it's not running. It runs a little bit. But not much. And I know I can full lock it right now. Uh, but I'm just not paying too much attention because I'm, you know, streaming. I'm looking at the chat. So I'm not full locking it. Yeah, if a fish starts swimming to the right, you run to the right and you turn that fish around. That's for sure fishing <clears throat> sturgeons. So. Oh, if you turn it upside down. Yeah, when they're looking away from you, or swimming away from you, they they fight really hard. But if you turn them, uh, then yeah, it's less on resistance. I see. I remember Big probably telling me this. Well, I think if you flip a sturge, it means it's dead. Like it, it did its fight and it's out of strength. So that's literally at the end of the fight, basically. 125 meters out. I don't have a good feeling about this fish. I think it's not big at all. Because it didn't take too long. And another 10 minutes bringing this in. TV, hello, welcome. Uh, looks like a halibut. Decent size, hopefully 40 kg plus. I've had the TI rods for a long time. TIs are cheap. I had them before I even had Avenger. They're like, what, 20 grand? What the heck? Where are we drifting to? Man, we are out of the 55 meter hole. Under 10 meters out. 105. Man, the friction break damage. Oof. It's going to be so bad. Where do we start from, guys? 
Why? Why must you fight still? Jacqueline, hi, welcome. You're on holidays right now. Nice. I don't think I was at 14. I think I was at 14.3 or 6. Yeah, 14.3, I guess. Being risky here. Thirty four could you have a third fish of the day? Nice. Okay, like, you gotta tell me exactly what I said. Oh, so I was at 14%. Let's just take 14% if that's what I said. Because I don't remember when I looked what it was. See, I got a full lock this and I can't even reel it in. Annoying. Annoying little thing this is. Why is this fighting so much? Can't even bring it in. Okay, 14% damage, that's what we'll take it as. That's it, 34 minutes? I honestly feel like it's been a lot more than 34. And I can't, because as you can see, full locking, it's... It's pushing it to the limit. Man, this thing's still fighting. It's so annoying. Yeah, 45 minutes sounds more reasonable. Seventy five, but it's still being really annoying. Seventy meters now. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. I stream RF for Saturday and Sundays. Okay, I had it from 40 minutes ago. Alright, cool, cool. 
65 meters. I turned my fan on because this this room is really hot right now. Hopefully it's not, you know, blasting sound into my mic. Yeah, ACs are nice. I think I'm going to turn mine on in a day or two. Because it's only like 23, 24 degrees outside Celsius. But the sun is hitting directly into this room and it's closed because obviously I'm streaming. So it's heating up. The rest of the house is pretty cool right now. <laughs> That's why the Golaf is melting, because the room. Can't even reel this in any faster. Damn. Thing's super annoying. 55 meters out. 50 meters out. Yeah, your, your flag gets hot, 15. What's the time in Canada? I don't know. I cannot check the time right now because my hands are busy with this fish. Uh, let's see here. Three twenty-one p.m. Sura, big head active again. Good, great. 9.20 p.m. You live in the future. <laughs> Fourth the fish, 24 kg halibut. Dang, I'm the halibut hunter over here. All right, now this fish is really dead. Can I? Nope. I still can't. Still being a pesky little fish. Not gonna take the risk, I'll just keep reeling it in like this. Eighty kg of fish in eighteen minutes. Very nice. Big fish on. Rip. Twenty five minutes. Spin. I mean, sorry, 25 meters out. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Welcome, welcome everyone to the stream. We almost have this fish in. Just uh, just another minute or two left. Fifteen meters out. Ugh, come on. Still fifteen meters out. Let me try once more time. Ten meters. Running out of energy all of a sudden again. 10 meters out. All right. What seems to be 45 to 1 hour fight. And I don't know how many percent friction break damage. We will find that out as well. Because my god. 
it was wearing out our friction brake like no tomorrow. How big is this halibut going to be? I really hope it's not a halibut, but all signs point towards a halibut. Five meters out. Please be big. Please. Zero meters out. We're still reeling it in. Wow, how much? Oof, that's a big boy. 62 kg halibut. This is now our biggest halibut, beating it by a full 1 kg. Biggest halibut till now was 1 kg. Okay. Okay. And how much friction break? We started at 14% and we're up to 15.1%. Yikes, this thing is barely worth any money, so not worth it on the gold off. Oh my god. Uh, large Seth is what we're doing it on at the 55. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. All right, let's try this again. Wow, we are almost at 30 likes. You guys are amazing. Let's try it again. 64 kg is 200 silver plus. Okay, okay. Rasmus, you got a poor beagle on. Rip. Well, Tagara isn't really... The biggest are real, so. Not a bad sized one. <clears throat> All right. Now let's see what we can catch here. 4.1%? You're using a Tagara on the sea? Damn. Whoa, what was that? Something whizzed from the left to the right side of my screen. I don't know what the heck it was. It was in game or was it my eyes? Eight point four nine KD safe. Okay. Almost an hour, yeah. Man. If that is only two hundred silver or a little more, that one hour is one hour boat rental, which is hundred silver. So we only made one hundred silver that entire hour. That's not even going to pay for the damage, bro. Imagine if every fish meant good silver instead of praying that it's not a halibut. You say anything like that on the official Discord and you're going to get banned. No fun allowed. What the hell is that? Did you see that happen again? Am I going crazy? Something white went from the left to the right side of my screen. I don't know if that was in game. Maybe it's texture. You had to alter four. Could be anything. Oh, wow. We already got the fish. Seito Kai. Oh, what the hell? It happened again. Yeah, I think when I look down after like closing the reel or something, it happens. Okay, it's it's the in-game thing here.
All right, eight and a four kg safe. Nice. You made twelve hundred silver in three hours. Not bad. Not bad. Wowzers. You did really good. See, it happened again. So at this angle, I think the texture is glitching out or something. You got a 32 kg halibut. Nice. Thirty two KG was above hundred silver. Good. Good. <laughs> Give me an angler, a trophy angler. Uh, give me a second. <sighs> give me a second. Give me a fish. Drop drifting away. Hi, Rasmus. Thank you for hanging out with us. Have a great rest. Have a great day at work. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow again. Bye. <laughs> Three kg. Damn it! I need bigger wolfish. These three kgs are not helping. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. We are three hour twelve minutes into the boat rental. Kg wolf. Okay, okay. You know, we might not have the size, but if we can get the quantity, that will help. 3, a 3, and 2.8 kg.
Okay, another small fish. <laughs> no, 1.8. I noticed recently like the fish size are a lot smaller like I've caught so many non-marker place eel pout I've got a lot of non-marker and tiny ones haddocks as you can see 1 kg like their size just reduced after last week or the recent patch it feels like Wow, an even smaller fish now. What is going on here? How many wolfish am I going to get? Unfortunately, that was a non-marker. Should we move right at the corner here? Why? Oh, hello. Eight, okay. I was hoping on the large fillet we would, you know, get large fish.
Maybe I should switch to small fillets now. <laughs> Family meters out, man. This is annoying. Come on, give me something here. Something a tad bit bigger, please. Third halibut. What the heck? What is this? It's smaller than a fillet. All right, let's switch this. To, ooh, mackerel. Ooh. Let's try mackerel fillet. Let's see what we can get on this. Where are you getting these halibuts? Here. Wow, that is terrible. All right, no mackerel fillet being used. They are very expensive, so I'm gonna use them when we know we can get something cool on them. Ooh, redfish. Uh, let's just stick to small fillet. Where is our line? Is it over here now?
Oh, now it's not even at the bottom. Great. Great. Tomorrow, the last day of happy hour. Too many haddocks today. Wow. Too many. Third one kg dogfish. <laughs> Guys, can we get to 30 likes today, please? Thank you. Macro? No, it's a safe. Wow, it's a small one. We can convert this. Not even 10 pieces. Damn. Okay, not big enough, but it's okay. Another wolfish, our biggest one so far. Look at all these little fish. It's just that they're very small, so they're not really going to be giving us a lot of money. I was not expecting to catch tiny fish at the 55.
Oh my god, what is this garbage? Uh, 22 kg. Constant. I'm gonna try the 80 meter hole. Uh, night time in a few minutes we will move. That halibut really killed this spot. Seventy meters out. Let's get the last fish here. And then I'm moving. It's way too slow now. Six, seven, eleven, four minutes. There we go, finally, okay. We are gonna get the, get the heck out of here.
please be an angler. That's gonna be a very expensive fish if it is. Really fighting now. What is this? Cusk. I hate you, Cusk. Oh. Alright, let's uh, go to the 80 meter. Okay, time for fillet, but it's still night time, so I don't know if we're going to get anything. Come on. There we go. Nothing big, but it's something. In the wee night of the morning.
Oh, it wants to fight all of a sudden, huh? Attic? 3 kg attic. Couldn't be any smaller, could you? Man, how much further is it going to drift out? Hot ah, damn. Noise. We got something. Bringing it in, bringing it in.
What the hell? What kind of magic power is this garbage? Nine point nine, that took forever to bring in. Hey, thirty likes. Thank you so much for all the likes. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. So unfortunately I don't think we're gonna reach forty likes today, but it's okay. Hitting that thirty is awesome. How much time do we have left? One hour left. One hour left in our boat rental. It's going to be 4 a.m., which means the fish should start biting soon. Is 41 meter active? Probably. Ooh, blue whiting. I'm sure it is active. 34, 41 meter, they're both the same thing. If one doesn't work, check the other. Here, fishy, fishy. Ah, <laughs> uh, wild well, carp. Uh, let's switch it up to fish strip and see if that makes a difference.
I hate you, Cusk. Tiny little Cusk pushing our setup. Oh no, I forgot. Uh, strip. There we are. We're drifting that way now. Okay, something tiny. Wow. Hey, one one percent at least. Attic after attic. On small setups, wild carps are super annoying, but on bigger setups, uh, wild carps are good because they are worth money. But for small setups, they're like too powerful. Chris, hi, how's it going? Long time no see wowzers. A very long time. Ah. How's life been? What is it, a 5 kg cusk? How and why do they get magical strength? Oh yeah, this is probably another 9 kg cod. The 9.9 .9 kg we had was the exact same power level. 3 months? Wow. 
So that was right before uh, this new map came out. Norwegian Sea, because before the Norwegian Sea, I don't remember anything. Look at this magical strength this fish gets. Eleven KG cod. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Five twenty seven day. Oh, wow, that feels like forever ago. Have you been to the sea yet? How's the sea treating you? Beers. Two kg cusk. A pollock. Okay, I'll take it. We have 77 fish. Yikes. We have like 50 minutes to go. You've been really busy recently and haven't had the chance. It's all good. It is all good. Uh oh. Okay, okay, slightly big, slightly big. Maybe 10 kg again, hopefully. Make some money. Trying really hard. Not much of a match for us. Caught again by the looks of it. Two meters out. Okay, it's magical strength is back. Very 
There we go. 35. Yeah, I think it's 10 kg caught again. Ooh, cusk. 15.9 kg cusk. Damn it, give me a trophy of this stupid thing already. So 9.9 .9 kg Atlantic, 11.9 .9 kg Atlantic, 15, 16 kg cusk. So at the 50 meter hole with the strip. And I uh, used small fillet. I might use large fillet here as well at the 80. Yeah. Because it's deep, they just have, just takes a while to bring them in. Oh, small fish. Welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you're having an amazing uh, Saturday. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Another RF4 stream tomorrow as well. One point two kg small fish. Wow, look at that point one percent. Almost one percent in almost five hours. Have you been to the sea yet? Yes you have. Oh my god, 190 kg halibut. Damn. Blue tag haddock. Wow, you have almost every fish. <laughs> that is crazy. Noise, noise. You just gotta keep at it until you eventually hit that RNG and get a trophy.
40 meters out. Another... Oh my god, no. <sighs> I hate these cusks. Look at that, all of a sudden, half hour ago, the cusk started to come out. Before that, I have one cusk, and that's it. Actually, another cusk here. Raka, hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? How's it going? What do we have here? Ooh, tiny dogfish. 1.9. They have 1111. Very consistent with their size today. A uh, Loisher, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the family. Hope you are enjoying your stay here. Oh, we have 81 fish. I might need to throw some worthless pieces out. Maybe this mackerel, I can turn it into bait. Uh, filet, rather. I am at... 62.9% now. So 0.9% skill increase today, which is amazing. I hope every stream, five hours we spend here, we level up 1%. <laughs> Jeremy Wade, what the hell? Someone's named Jeremy Wade in this game now. Five meters, what is this? Damn it, why? Why? Why the cusks? <sighs> Give me an angler or something. How to get level 100 bottom fishing. Uh, so if you want to level up your bottom fishing fast, you have to go to Mosquito. All right, and right by the boat yard here, like maybe five meter clip, just throw any bait you have. Uh, like egg door, any crappy bait you don't need. All three bottom fishing rods, throw them there. And you will catch a lot of fish. A lot. They will all be small. Most of them will be non-marker. It doesn't matter. What matters is you're catching a lot of non uh, fish and bottom fishing. And uh, that's how I leveled up my last few percent, 200. Hey, YT, hello, welcome. Fishing's okay. We got our one big fish today, so I'm happy about that. You like monster fishing with Seb Hogan more than Jeremy Wade, really? 
Okay, I don't know who Zeb is. And, you know, I'm new to... Oh, ouch. Sorry, Fresh. How long? A very long time. This is a grindy game. So it took me a long time. What is Jeremy Way doing now? I don't think he has any shows out right now. Very similar style, but more focus on the actual fish than the story. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is that is better. <laughs> I like the story side to it. On why he's fishing or why he's targeting a fish. And the mystery. Uh, but just pure fishing is better, I guess. Got back from fish ish IRL fishing, got your first striped bass on a fly, wow. And got a surprise brook trout. I'm so jealous of your fishing trips, people. You guys are catching cool fish left and right. That's great. Hey, I mean on the strip we're finally catching fish here at the 80 meter. And it's decent bite rate. It's not very slow. It has more focus on a large freshwater fish and the endangered ones to see if they're still there. Very cool. So wait, is mo wait. So River Monster is not is still on right now? And it's done by Zeb? What's going on? Haddock. Lots of haddock. When I know how many haddocks, all the haddocks. Oh, Zeb was there before and then Jeremy Wait started. Alright, alright, I see. I've only ever watched the last few seasons. And then it just stopped and I don't know where Jeremy Wait is now. Famous for big salmon and in stripes, striped bass rates. Damn! All the best! Wow. Sounds like a good fishing trip to me. What is this? What is this? Haddock. I kind of want to put big fillet on, but we just don't have a lot of time. We have like half hour left in the boat rental. A little bit more maybe. So I don't have time to fight a big fish. We got a 15 inch brook trout and a 21 inch striped bass. Whoa. <laughs> I wish I could catch fish that big. Damn.
Fishy, fishy, fishy. Give me an angler, please. Because that's going to be bank. Hmm. Where are they all markers though? But that's not a consistent rate you're gonna get. Okay, we got a fish. Only one non marker? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much, YT. Yeah, I, I wanna see. The big brook trout sounds amazing. Can you get an angler for 41? No. 34 and 41 meter hole, I've never seen anyone pull out an angler. And I've never pulled one out. Oh, halibut. 4.5 kg. Uh, I moved. I moved to the 80 meter hole. Sixth halibut of the day. You and your high skill setup. Mackerel. Fifteen fish in one and a half hours. Damn. That's good money. GD Gaming, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, there's still a bit of time left. Four to five hundred silver per hour. It's pretty good. On your conventional reel, there's barely any damage, so that's pretty good. 
And another one, KG Haddock. Today is Haddock Day. Look at all of this. We have a Haddock army. One KG, all of them. Yeah, that's barely anything. That's really good. Biggest damage at the moment. What reel is it? That you have? Imperial. Ooh. Big boy reel. <laughs> Is it? Still got another day on the river. 30 plus fish a day. You're catching four. Wow. Another 10 kg. Took a lot of sturgeon fishing. You know, I thought IRL, the anglers, used to live at a very deep depth. Like hundreds of meters down. They do, okay. So just for this game, there's an exception. Magical strength, go! Yes! Yes! 9 kg European angler at the 80 meter hole. Yes! That's gonna be, what, two, three hundred silver there? That's what I was looking for. Oh, man. Our first one at the 55 meter hole was 3.8 kg. You know, it's, it's not worth a whole lot, but this one is worth a whole lot. Noise. Hundred fifty, that would be? No, it has to be worth more. Oh man. I mean, hundred fifty is pretty darn good. That's the best we could have gotten compared to, you know, like a 10 kg cusk. 15 kg is 230 silver. Okay. Okay, okay. So I need to see what the biggest one I have is. 20k. Oh, no wonder. Because I remember catching the 20 kg and it was worth three, 400 silver or something like that. Okay, I see, I see. Do I like track mania? I don't know what that is. Is it like a guy on a horse that tracks people I think I've, I've heard of it but no I've never watched it all right so 100 silver for that thing I will happily take it mm 
noise. I kind of really wanted one here. It's a racing game with cars. Oh. Nope. No idea. Ooh. Small fish. Alright, I think today we're gonna make decent money. I hope. I really do. <clears throat> Actually, maybe not. Because that halibut took us an hour. And it's only worth like 200 silver. And the boat rentals 100 silver, so we barely made anything. These darn haddocks. I mean, that's not a bad size, but... I got too many 1kgs. How much time do we have left? Damn it, we have a little bit too much time. I might, I might need to leave early here. Rasmus, hello, hello, you are late. Uh, but you made it at least. Better than not being here at all. Um, we have a few minutes left in our rental. So you'll get to see how much money we made today. How are, how are things with you, Rasmus? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Attic, of course. What's going on here? What is going- oh wow, 36 likes. Thank you so much for all the likes. You guys are amazing. Are you buying the small cheap boat rod? No. light boat rod apparently there's no reason to use it it's too crappy and what do you get with using boat rod can you use all these sea hooks and gummies no right how will i level up faster will i catch more fish You can target small fish with shrimp or paternoster. I don't have paternoster unlocked yet. For 65 to 75%, okay. Pitternoster uses three lures. When shrimp lure drop at 30 40. Reel at 5 to 8 speed. What? That's interesting.
have you personally used it when you were 65%? Interesting. That will help. Uh, how much did it cost? Whiting, 1.2 kg, yay! Like you said, 1500 silver, something like that? Yeah, just need to get 65 and we can use Marine Pater Noster. Thank you. Okay, jiggle step doing the work right now. <laughs> I really hope we can make some f uh, few cafe order orders. The cheapest one is 4k. Damn. Ah, that's expensive. Uh, when I get to 65, I'll see. What I'm gonna do. Three point seven, okay. No, <laughs> thank you, Vianu. It's all good. Yeah. Uh look at this. One, two, three, 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 four. Just 900 for two hours. Is that better? <laughs> it's, it's better than what I make. With my low tier setup. Ah, oh, for a moment I thought I had a fish on. All right, let's quickly get 200 fish, please. So we can go back. Best you did was 1.2K in one hour, right? Wow. Yeah, before they nerfed halibuts. Yeah, halibuts were good money and people, high level people were making insane money per hour. Place orders, N nice. Oh, Haddock is still alive, perfect. Garbage. Ah, uh, save. Oh, place. European place. Eight hundred gram. Oh man, I only have two that are eight hundred, that are one kg. Okay, that's fine. Haddocks we can have, perfect. Thank you. Eight point three kg wolfish. I don't have that. My wolfies are too small. I'm 
I only have four KD as my biggest. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Give me one last fish that I can put in my bag quickly, please. Welcome back. Finally a trip where it didn't rain. And that stupid fish got off. How rude. What did you miss? A lot of things. A lot of fishing. But don't worry. Uh, our adventure's almost over. So we will all see what fish I caught and how much money we made. I just want one fish before I leave. We still have time, but I kind of need to end a little early. <sighs> so, any trophies? No, no trophies. Well, I don't think I'm going to get a fish now. It's too, too late at night. Poop. Sure spot is back alive. Uh, with just the fillet strip combo because I definitely want to try that edible crab someone just got nice I loved that spot so much <laughs> all right you know what unfortunately I don't think we're gonna catch anything are you using small fillets rather okay perfect 100 meters out now. Are we at the edge? No, we're inside. All right, I'm just going to restart and uh, whoops. Uh oh, what did I do? Uh, let me just restart the game. Try the shore spot. I will. Not on stream though. Because I have to go IRL. Which is why I didn't stay for the full rental, unfortunately. You're at Amber right now and don't want to try it? <laughs> I'm going out. I'm going out tonight, so unfortunately, even off screen, I won't be able to test the spot because I would love to make a video about it if it works. Maybe tomorrow later on, 8 kg caught first fish. I mean, as long as you catch a decent amount of fish in one hour, it's all that matters. And you make, you know, even 300 silver in one hour is amazing. Because you don't got to pay for boat rental or anything. Ah, you're using two rods. Nice. No more reason to buy. Yeah. Scallop. Alright. Black Ruff's always there. Edible crab. 
Wolf fish I don't have. Headache. Whoops, no. What is this? Three pieces? Or 13th silver. 203 silver, guys. All right, cafe orders. Three silver. Uh, sorry, 103 silver by selling these. Uh, I did not wait. I did not fish the full five hours. Kind of have to leave early today. Uh, 1,800, 1,900, let's say 2,000 even. 2,000 minus 400 divided by 5. No, damn it. 2,000 minus 400 divided by 5. 320 silver per hour. Again, not the greatest. Uh, but 62 kg halibut, 224 silver, 9 kg European angler, 142 silver, pollock, cusk, spiny dogfish, 39, 40 silver, and uh, this 3.8 kg angler, 30 silver. <clears throat> then we have loads of wolfish, and then all of this is just uh, haddocks. Look at this, all of these 1 kg haddocks are at the bottom. That's so sad. Uh, I am going to chop up the seth though. Nope, not bait fish. Uh, 3 kg. Can we make another 3 kg? All right, the rest, whatever. 34,000 silver almost we are at. Like, subscribe, comment below. All right, four bites in two to three minutes. That's amazing. But again, it's about your, how much, how well you do in one full hour. Because you can get bursts of very active fishing. So, unfortunately, that's going to be it for me today. I will be streaming again tomorrow. So I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Have a great rest of your night. And uh, yeah, let's see you. See you tomorrow.